Whoa, 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 wait. What is this? New YouTube TOS? What? No controversial or sensitive topics? What? No. No, no, no. No. YouTube has officially gone down the crap hole. Everyone, everyone's gonna leave YouTube now. Freaking everyone. Well, everyone that doesn't come to YouTube for Minecraft Let's Plays, that is. I wonder what the final nail in the coffin was for this. Uh, wait, do you hear that? Team Star no. No, it couldn't be. No, no, no! Welcome to the news! I'm not going to point any fingers or make any accusations, but I'm just saying, if this whole thing was caused by a bunch of butthurt YouTubers going to YouTube and saying that they were roasted, I'm a little bit freaking mad. Anyways, before I start this video, I feel like I should, uh, I should do this one thing and say this one thing. Yeah, the Minecraft gameplay I've had in the background of my videos, it's gotten kind of old and stale. Kinda like this YouTube channel, am I right? Yeah, it's gotten kinda stale and, well, I have this other gameplay to show you. Now you're probably gonna hit me for it, but here it goes. Three, two, one. There! Please don't, please don't unsubscribe. Anyways, yeah, today we're going to be talking about Terms of Service. Now, many other people have talked about the ter this Terms of Service update before, and how basically you can't talk about anything controversial, and just the Terms of Service overall are just really, really vague, and how they're useless because of that, and how YouTube is misusing and abusing the YouTube Terms of Service as of late. Now, I just want to bring this one little argument to the table. I'm going to be focusing more on the controversial content side of the new TOS. So basically it says that you basically can't talk about any sensitive subjects or any controversial topics or anything like that. Which is stupid, by the way. Why do you think people came to YouTube in the first place? To hear people's opinions on controversial topics. You take that away from people by making the creator that creates that kind of content not be able to get money. People are going to leave from YouTube, alright? So it's, it's not good. It's not good, alright? It's just not. Not only that, but you can't talk about natural disasters? What? No! That's... That's... That's stupid. It, 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 this is blatant censorship. Th that, that's what it is. Th this is this is worse than what's going on on TV. At least on TV, they can, in, in the news, they can talk about natural disasters and even show footage of what happened because of that. N not, not YouTube. Not YouTube, though. Not YouTube, because, gosh darn it, we gotta have it rated G. Nobody wants this to be rated G. Nobody wants YouTube to become this watered-down content site. Nobody. Also, this whole controversial uh, content thing where you basically don't get monetization if you talk about controversial content. Well, guess what? They made that rule screw us over. And you want to know why? They put out these new terms of service, and now people are talking about them and how bad they are. Kind of controversial, don't you think? So yeah, by saying, oh, you can't talk about controversial content without, and have it be monetized, they're basically saying, oh, they can't talk about controversial content, therefore they can't complain about the new terms of service, because that's, defin that's technically controversial. And it's so, it's so bad, and as a content creator, I'm pretty mad, because may maybe I have a future career in YouTube, who knows? But if I ever decide to, I don't think I'll be able to make videos ranting about YouTubers like I do now. And it stinks. It really does. But shoot, YouTube, what have you done? Now this is probably going to blow over in a few, uh, in a month, maybe. But yeah, it's going to blow over. This is not a permanent thing. They're going to realize they screwed up and they're going to go back to the n normal swing of things. That is, if past experience is to be trusted. But, yeah, that's all my thoughts I have to say on this subject. Uh, 
Keemstar, you're a garden gnome, and, uh, well, yeah, see you guys. But, uh, before I go, I have this little trick for you. It is scientifically proven to better your life, and it's called having a son.